It's a decision leaving a lot of seafood lovers on the Jersey Shore disappointed. This year, the wildly popular lo Lobster Fest has been canceled less than two weeks before it was supposed to happen. Oh, I bet they're kind of crappy. Mm -hmm. The two-day festival draws tens of thousands of people every year, and now town leaders, they are scrambling for an alternate, alter, alternative. New Jersey reporter Anthony Johnson reports from Bradley Beach. I thought that was sad. That's a shame. It's just a shame. Thank you. The event has been a big hit for the tens of thousands of mostly tourists that descend on Bradley Beach and its boardwalk and promenade for the Lobster Fest. I think it's a summer tradition, and I was looking forward to it, so I wish they would actually have it. It's a lot of fun, and people look forward to these festivals and activities. But this year's festival had to be canceled when it was revealed that the local Chamber of Commerce, which has hosted past events shown here on the website, had not put in the proper paperwork to maintain its nonprofit status. The beachfront community was left with no option but to cancel Lobster Fest. The Chamber of Commerce, if they were due diligent, this never would have happened. A lot of my neighbors are happy because we're avoiding the, the chaos that comes with 70,000 people descending on the borough. The whole event got caught up in politics when a resident who was upset at a councilman started looking into the chamber's filing records and found problems. We talked to the mayor on the phone who says the borough tried to rescue the event. The chamber fell apart and uh, it's unfortunate because there's some really good members to our chamber, but uh, no one was willing to step forward and take a leadership role. The resident reaction has been mixed. Folks living on Ocean Avenue and neighboring blocks say they won't miss the event because it brings loud food truck generators, crowds, people using the public street as a bathroom, and a bad smell which lingers for days. In Bradley Beach, Anthony Johnson, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.